Hello everyone, this is Drone FPV in Review here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to maintain your drone. As anyone who's been flying the same drone for a couple months, all the way up to years, might know, is that bits and pieces here and there get damaged. I'm going to show you the most common ones that get damaged, how to repair them, and tell you about the ones that are less commonly damaged. Let's start with the arm. The most common form of damage occurs here, when you lose all the screws that support the battery bay and it starts to get wiggly. This can be a result of crashes, this can be a result of just having loose screws there, and that's pretty much it. The main reason this is bad is because most toy grid quadcopters have the motors exposed. This means that the more openings, the more dirt, snow, water is going to get in there and ruin your motors. If this happens, it's usually quite an easy fix. Just undo a couple screws on the arm, pop it off, and replace the motor. You can usually re-solder it, and some even have a clip-in, clip-out motor, which is even more easily replaceable. I haven't had that problem on mine yet, but maybe one day it'll happen. The second most common damage point on the arms is the propellers. Propellers can get damaged from crashes, from worn use, any things damage them and it's very important to replace them since your entire drone can fall from the sky if you don't. Now, hubcaps are these little things and they go right on top like that. There is a reason for them, just besides looking nice, and it's to protect this little thing here. Inside, I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a pin that keeps the propeller from going up. It's different on some quadcopters, maybe it's a screw or something like that, but it's usually a pin, and if, if you break the hubcaps and then you crash on top again, this thing is going to get thrown out, the pin's going to get broken, and it's just something you really don't want to happen because then you're going to need to replace this in entire shaft going down to the motor. That's pretty much all that can happen on this end of the arm, but here is a nice big surface that attracts many scratches, cuts, and dents. I have one right here from a crash, but the, it's more common to get them right here, or even here, and as you can see, right here, I got mine all across the bottom. This is not too bad of a problem, because it should be fixed right away. The main thing you're going to want to do is get a piece of Gorilla Tape or something, since it's extremely, extremely strong and it's not going to break the second time and you're going to want to cut it to the appropriate measurements not not too big or else it might get fall off get caught in the motors or something and then you're going to want to place it like that on one side as you can see right there and on the other side, you're going to want to place another little bit, right, right like that. Now, you could always put another one here, but it honestly won't make a difference because you can see already that it's very strong. Make sure to always check this before every flight. If the tape gets weak and falls off, then another crash will break the entire arm. And let me tell you, tape isn't going to fix that. Another very common point of damage is anything that sticks out of the drone. An example is this little fake GPS thing. That doesn't matter. And another one is the landing legs. This is extremely important. Even though you can get replacement landing legs very cheaply, the availability differs from drone to drone, and I recommend just keeping them in shape in the first place. This is because if the landing legs break on impact, 
and you have a camera on, whether it be a GoPro, this stock camera, or anything, then the camera is going to get smashed. And that's not good because that's going to be quite a bit of money if you have an expensive one on there. Now, sometimes there's even antennas running up the landing legs. Sometimes they're metal, aluminum, very strong, but these ones are just plastic. And I've seen on uh, SEMA X8, they've actually been broken. The tips are broken off and that's not good. This is a result of crashes, as you might expect. So I would recommend trying to land softly. Don't go too high, don't lose signal, anything like that. There's one more point of damage on a quadcopter that people usually overlook. It is this little door here. Now, why is that so important? Well, as you might imagine, it keeps the battery in. Lots of violent movements in the air, maybe even a few crashes, will in fact wiggle the battery out of its bay and halfway, maybe like that, then it's gonna fall. You're then gonna be flying like this and people might think, oh, that's fine, it, it's not coming out, that's no problem. Well, that's wrong because as you can see in there, the two connectors actually are soldered to the main board, the flight controller. And if that, if you keep flying like this, guess what? Those solder points are gonna weaken and weaken until the, wa the wires fall off. And then you're gonna have to open the entire thing up and redo those. That's pretty much it, aside from wires here and there cracking. Maybe some scratches, cracks across the top or bottom. But those are pretty much easily fixed by opening up the drone or just slapping some tape across. Thanks for watching. This is Drone FPV in Review, and I'll see you in the next video.